Good morning, y'all. So, we woke up with a little nonsense today, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys got some of this stuff in your front yard today, but it's the beginning of November, and your boys already got snow. So, uh, that's always good. What does that mean for us? Well, it means the fishing pretty much only gets tough from here on out, and then uh, maybe we get to ice fish. But, other than that, it's a beautiful, freezing, 25 degree day. I'm over here in my hoodie. I, I literally just got up out of bed, and uh, here we are. So I got a notification last night on my phone, well yesterday on my phone, saying that something arrived in my mailbox. So I think that's what we're going to be doing today. If I'm not mistaken, there should be one of these guys. So today we're going to be opening the Mr. Tackle Box. Maybe fishing with it today depending on what's in here. I don't know, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Honestly, it's freezing cold out. And uh, the goal for today is, if it's not too cold, to see if uh, you guys can catch bass, big bass, when there's still snow on the ground. So, join me guys, I'm gonna go warm up, I'm gonna grab a coffee, and uh, we're gonna go check out this November's Mystery Tackle Box. Woo, all right. So, change of plans, guys. Originally, I went out to the mailbox, as you guys saw, which was probably like a second ago for you, but a couple hour goes for me. I picked this guy up out of my mailbox. Love these things coming every month. If you guys want some information on these and how to get these, click the link in the description below. Otherwise, today I originally planned to go out and do like a fishing video where I'd show you guys how to catch big largemouth in freezing cold temperatures. But honestly, with the wind and everything, it's like an Arctic tundra outside right now, and I really don't feel like freezing my butt off. So I apologize for that. We're not gonna be doing a hands-on fishing video today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later this week if the weather turns up. But with the wind and everything, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm just gonna be a baby. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel like freezing my butt off today. So today I'm gonna be bumming it. As you guys can see, I'm still literally bedhead and like just fresh roll out of bed. I grabbed a coffee, and today I thought we'd do a rigging video with the mystery tackle box. These mystery tackle boxes, a lot of times they come with you know contents to make rigs or to rig up the baits that come inside it uh, or just a bunch of miscellaneous so today I want to go over all the baits that are in this box with you guys and how I would rig them or if there's rigs in here to show you guys exactly what that is and how you rig them up so today we're gonna do that just a little rigging video and I think this will be really helpful I haven't really gone over what's in it but a lot of times you know you'll get baits in there and you wonder hmm what's the correct way to do this or is there other ways that I could rig this up that maybe I didn't know about so if you guys are new to fishing and you want to learn some new rigs go ahead and watch this below if you guys are experts at fishing um, you probably know this already but hey you might find some I might do something differently than you or something like that I don't know let's hop into this box and uh, we're gonna move the camera up here and show you guys you know everything that I would do so I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, other than that go ahead roast me in the comment section below with my crazy crack mama hair um, yeah let's do it Alrighty, so looking into the box, guys, we're going to flip it open. And right off the bat, you guys always get your Dibble card right here. This is a card that tells you everything that's in your box and the prices. So if you want to make sure you got your money's worth in lures, check out this card right here. There's also, like, contests and stuff that go on here. It's a nice little card that has some fishing information. Check it out. So we're going to go through everything in the box. I'm going to separate them, and uh, I'm just going to tell you how I would rig this stuff. Right off the bat, it looks like we got two baits that look pretty similar here or look like they're the same brand. So we're going to put those together because I'm a feeling they're gonna go together uh, we got some lead nail weights right here we're gonna throw it on right here we got some Nico hooks and looks like some bands there for a Nico rig we got a crankbait right here a looks like a little jerk bait by Ketchco right here we got a lipless crank and the last two things we got in here are some KVD, what are these? These are the rodents. And then we got some Carl's Amazing Bait. So this is a Mystery Tackle Box bait. Carl's Bait and Tackle, Hoss Craw and Blue. Here's our scenario. We got these baits right here. This is all I have to work with today. Or let's just say these are the baits, you know, we got obviously for the month of November. Uh, we're gonna take these. I'm gonna show you guys how I would rig these up or ways that you can rig them up so that if you want to go fishing with them You guys are going to have the most success. So let's start off with the first thing that I pulled out It's this cool bait. So we're gonna slide this guy over. All right, we got a cool baits lure This is a looks like an underspin and then it looks like we got a little paddle tail swim bait to match this So I'm gonna take one of these out Boom. 
get that right there. All right, we're gonna open this guy up. If you guys never fished underspins before, underspins are sweet. Pull that out, throw that aside. So you're looking at basically like a little fish-like jig head with a little spinner on the back. So a lot of times you'll get stuff like this in the box, which is awesome. So you can tell this is like a shad color and uh, this is literally an identical color. You can tell those two are probably a combo that Mystery Tackle Box wanted to go together. If that's not the case, it's still an awesome pick out. So we're gonna throw these guys together and uh, you're gonna get yourself a nice little underspin swim bait right here. This is an awesome bait you guys can use for bass, you can use it in the lakes for smallmouth, you can use it in the, for crappie, you can use it in the river for bass. You can, it's just an awesome you know, little swim bait right there. I bet you that thing will kill fish. Nice little finesse swim bait. I'm gonna throw that aside. So that's what I would do for these two and we'll just move them over here or something. The next thing we have, I'm just gonna cut to the chase with these guys are some crankbaits. So we, actually we got like kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, or all the worlds, if that even makes sense. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about these guys right here because I wouldn't currently fish them in the situation that I'm in. We're making our way into winter. So for me, they're not two baits that I'm too productive with. But if I did have to fish these in a different given scenario, I would fish them with fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is gonna allow them to get to the depths that they need to get to. Gonna give me a little more sensitivity. And um, you know, as far as what pound fluorocarbon I'd fish, really depends on you know the situation that I'm fishing. But somewhere probably between 10 and 15 pounds. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning, uh, how sometimes you'll get rigs, but something not to necessarily rig it with. I guess you could use these for some of the stuff that came in the box, but these are made to set up a Nico rig, and if you guys are unfamiliar with an Nico it, God. If you guys are unfamiliar with what a Nico rig is, I'm gonna show you exactly how to rig it up and what I would rig it up with. Uh, it's definitely a cool rig that I feel like a lot of people don't know about or don't really use too often. Uh, it's similar to a wacky rig, but a little bit different. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to grab a bait like this right here. If you guys wanna know, these are a Zoom trick worm in a watermelon color. And so we're gonna take our worm, we're gonna take our hooks, and we're gonna take our weights. The first thing we're gonna do is take our nail weight. And uh, all this is, this is a weight that is designed to stick in the top of the worm to weight it down a little bit. So we're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna shove that in there. Just kind of squish that in the top of the worm. Bam, if you guys can see that right there. Hopefully you can get a good focus on that. And uh, boom, so you're done with the nail weights right there. That's gonna allow this bait to nail down a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hooks. And it's really cool that they made like a little Nico pack. So we're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna get one of these hooks and one of these bands. So you guys are gonna take this little rubber ring and we're gonna, I'm gonna go backwards on this worm just cause it's easier. We're gonna go all the way to like, maybe a, an inch or two, I guess it's preference on the worm. So I'm gonna go like an inch and a half up the worm if you guys can see that right there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this hook and you are gonna run it right underneath that band like that and voila, what this is going to do is you're gonna tie up from your hook and this weight is gonna keep this worm face down and as you bring it, it's gonna have like an action off the bottom like this, kind of like a wacky worm type deal. But uh, Nico rigs are really cool, they're super productive. Uh, just I feel like a bait that's not really touched on too much, so I think it's really cool that Mystery Tackle Box added that to their box. And then last but not least, we got these two baits. We got like a creature bait and a craw bait. We're gonna start with the KVD creature bait. I'm gonna call it a creature bait, I think that's correct. Um, so we're gonna take this, this is all that came in the box like that. What I would do with this right here is I'd take some uh, EWG worm hooks. These are some 4 out trocars right here. We're gonna take these out of here and uh, I'm gonna grab one of these like so. And uh, what you guys are gonna do is I would Texas rig this. If you guys don't know what a Texas rig is, we're gonna do it real quick. A Texas rig, all you do is you take that EWG and you throw it like a centimeter through the top of that bait right here as you guys can see you flip it down come all the way down to that set and that hook you're going to twist the hook around like so put it up into that notch and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the tip of that hook and you're going to stick it just through the front of that bait that was actually really bad let me fix that just through the front like that and uh, voila you guys got yourself a texas rig you guys can throw a bullet weight on top of there if you wanna flip this in and out of 
you know, cover and stuff like that. You can fish it weedless just like this. All depends on the scenario that you guys are fishing. So that's what I would do with that bait. And uh, we're gonna put that aside. And then we got the Carl's Bait and Tackle Craw, which or I think this is a craw. And for this guy, you guys could do the same thing as this creature bait. You could Texas rig it just like I did with this one. Or what I would actually use this bait for, which it looks nice for, is I would take it, I would take one like this, and I would rip off like probably like a little bit of that bait, like the first notch, so you have just a little bit of the bait, and I would get yourself a juicy bass jig just like this, and I would use this as a jig trailer. So I'm gonna put this like so, and I'm gonna run this through the hook. I'm gonna flip it forward, run that all the way up into the back of my jig, and voila, you guys got yourself a nice juicy bass jig. So I made a complete mess out here on the table that I gotta clean up, but that's the November Mystery Tackle Box and exactly how I would go about rigging it and some of the things that it came with. If you guys got a November Mystery Tackle Box, maybe you guys can put some of this you know, to use. If not, uh, maybe you guys want to consider getting a mystery tackle box. They're really awesome. It's great to get one every month. Uh, link on all that stuff is down below. Just hit the, I think it's mystery tackle box slash uh, uh, Tightline TV. I have my own link. So go ahead, click that down below if you guys are interested in the mystery tackle box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do me a favor. If you guys like these style videos, leave me a comment down below. We're making our way towards winter where, you know, it's getting colder and the fishing is going to tone down a little bit and I can't do a bunch of hands-on fishing too much right now. So if there's any kind of content you guys want to see or that you would like me to make, leave a comment down below on what you think I should do. I love making videos for you guys. And I want to be able to make the best possible content that you guys want to see. So uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below. You guys know the deal in the description below. Below, there's some social medias like my Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. Always do other kind of content there. And other than that, you guys know the deal. We see you in the next video.